The first thing I'd like to do is creating a classical 808 style bass drum with operator. And so I have a drum rack here and on node 3 I have the operator with the default waveform, which is just a boring sine wave, this one. And the first thing we do, we switch this to a fixed frequency and say it's 70 hertz, which is a bit closer to the fundamental of our bass drum. And we have the 70 hertz wave. And we create an envelope which is a bit closer to a bass drum. And now we already have something which gets closer. At the bottom, there's this loop um, mode chooser here. And this can be used to create looping envelopes, which we don't need for our drum. But the last setting is trigger. And trigger means the envelope ignores the node off event and just when a node on comes in, creates the desired curve. So now we get this decay curve independently on how long we hit the key. And this is exactly what we want for our drum. Um, the next thing we'd like to do is we'd like to apply a short pitch envelope because um, if you hit a membrane with a stick, you get at the beginning um, a transient with a little bit higher pitch because the tension of the membrane is higher. So we emulate this with the pitch envelope here and um, see how far we get. And there we are already very close to the classical 808 bass drum. And now we can adjust the frequency. And so this was the fastest possible way to create a bass drum. And now we can get a little bit more advanced. Um, the one thing is at the um, point of the impact of the drumstick, we'd like to have a little bit more irregular sounds going on. So we use FM synthesis. Um, Basically, we use the second oscillator in the operator to modulate the first one with an even shorter envelope, also setting to trigger, and we see what happens. And we got some different flavor of drum. I don't want to have the pitch envelope on the second one, so I turn this off here. So, and we notice that we get some different um, texture at the beginning. Uh, another parameter which is very essential for drums is the phase, which means um, the moment in the sine wave which uh, happens at the beginning of a note. And this is this parameter down here. If phase is set to zero, then the sine wave starts at the zero crossing, so it makes a curve like that. If we raise phase, we start going further and further to the top of the wave. So we get a really hard, nasty click at the beginning. But this is exactly what we might want here. So let's try this. And now we have a <coughs> bass drum with a much um, more precise click. And we experiment with the second wave here a little bit. And we already have quite some control over the sound of our bass drum. Now I like to do something which I didn't rehearse before. Um, usually a membrane has more than one um, frequency. It's, um, it's a complex uh, layering of several modes of movement of the bass drum, of the membrane. So I'd like to add a second um, waveform here to see if we get this bass drum a little bit more like a really a drum. So I changed the, <coughs> the algorithm of operator here to this one, which allows to have two independent chains. And the first thing I do is I copy the settings from oscillator A to oscillator C, copy from oscillator A. So, and now nothing changes apart from the fact that this should be louder. But what we can do now is we can change the, the tuning of the second um, sine wave and see what happens. And make the envelope shorter. And suddenly we have a drum sound which is a little bit less than 808 sound. 
I turn it off. So, and there's much room for experiment here. Uh, interesting enough, we didn't use any filtering here. Um, this is just the result of FM synthesis. So let me apply a little bit of a filtering to get rid of some of the high frequencies. And um, you get the idea. 